Friends, in this video, we are going to see permanent tarsoraphy. This patient is 46 years old lady, has severe exposure keratitis following Bell's palsy. And we have decided to do permanent tarsoraphy at the center of the eyelid. I am using a collagen forceps the part which is open is above and the part which is solid is below and I am using a keratome to cut this eyelid margin, the transition tissue, the skin of the eyelid gets becomes the palpebral conjunctiva that transition tissue is being excised. So, this is a nice way of getting a superficial uh, excision of the tissue. We need not cut very deep, just we have to make this surface raw and that is it. This much is enough. And now, this collagen forceps is removed and we decide where to place it now and exactly opposite. We place the collagen forceps. The solid side goes under the eyelid and the open side is above the eyelid and take guidance of the cut area in the upper lid and just cut the tissue. Yes, so we have got the raw surfaces. Let it bleed, but I do not use cautery usually. And now, these two raw areas will be opposed to each other. New tissue will grow, and these two eyelids will get adherent to each other and the exposed cornea will get healed and we will see that in this video itself. Now, I take the drip set tube and cut it in the middle and I use 60 Vicryl suture. This is the drip set tube. It goes like this and now Uh, I am I'm going to reset the focus and now the needle goes like this. And now it is it is the bite is taken on the upper lead. And then another uh, supporting matter on this side. Again, the 
drip set tube. And now another byte. Here it goes. And now the byte is taken on the upper lead, then the byte. goes through the lower lead and then through the supporting matter. And we have to oppose these two eyelids very nicely. There should not be any gap. If there is a gap, new tissue cannot grow and the two eyelids cannot get adherent to each other. So, the two raw surfaces has to be, the two raw surfaces have to be nicely opposed. So, I am going to place two on on suture that means first two throws then on throw and then on more through. Let us see what happens in this case. As I pull this, it tears off. However, I could hold the knot and uh, retrieve the suture which has uh, gone from upper lead to the lower lead. And now I am pulling the suture left side suture and I am trying to get uh, uh, about 1 centimeter of suture so that it can be the knot can be made again. Yes, this is nicely done. Yes, the suture has been retrieved and now I have to pull it very carefully, pull firmly but uh, not very hard so that it does not tear off. So, I put two throws, then on throw and pull firmly, but not very hard and on more. So, this is two on on suture and now I cut the threads. The lead margins are nicely opposed and we are expecting a very good result. I am going to wait for on month to remove this suture. So, the surgery ends here and after one month we are going to remove the suture. I am using a needle, the sharp edge of the bevel and cut it here. Now, I pull this in one month it should get adherent to each other very nicely, very firmly and the suture is removed and see the new tissue has grown and the two raw surfaces are adherent to each other. The patient is very comfortable. Patient says that she does not have any pain in the eye now and 
she says that she can see though the uh, tersurafi is in the central part, still the chicken. Uh, it was put the uh, tersurafi will be done at the center and she will not be able to close the eyes. So, this is the way to do permanent tersurafi. See how strong is the tissue. So, uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think you have got some idea about how to do permanent tersurafi.